Run, Collector. Alright guys, took me a little longer than expected, but I finished mine with no problem. Because I already had the adapters that worked really good. And look in that case, we're looking at 29 degrees on the, on the, on the GPU. <laughs> the little, little GT1030 in there is chilling. I put uh, the big fan, put the OEM rear fan on top, facing down, blowing down. And then I put the red fan as an exhaust. So I got intake, intake, and exhaust. All right, and on the, I see, you can see my gaming PC is up, my streaming PC is up, and on this one, I did one red on top, the original one, original one next to it, and then I did the ring, the one that I had inside the, inside my gaming on the Optiplex. And then same 120, I mean 200 millimeter in the front. The only thing this one is the the power switch adapter that I got works fine, so I was able to use the power switch. The light is on, the power switch works, and I was able to plug in. I was able to plug in. You can't really see it. I was able to plug in the USB 3 ports, but the I/O for the you see right there where is it you see where I did the IO the front IO and the optiplex I had to rig it up and put it in here because if I didn't put that I couldn't get the uh, I couldn't get the computer running because the adapter that this freaking guy on eBay sold me was the wrong adapter for the bottom for the bottom IO for the for the headphones and for the USB so on this one On this one, the power switch works, the power light works, but I'm not getting any of the hard drive light, and I'm not getting any of the jacks or the two USBs. I'm missing these two USBs and the jacks. I mean, it's my gaming computer, so I don't really use that anyways. And the USB 3, I was able to plug it in. So at least I have one USB port up here and the power switch. See the light blinking in there? Yeah. Oh. I'll leave it at that for now. I mean, I don't use it every day. I use it mostly to play. The one I use every day is this one. So this one works perfectly. This one is working good. Power switch on top. Hard drive light works. All the USB plugs work. Everything, everything here works like normal. Because I got the right adapter in there. Right adapter. It's missing two pins. The adapter this guy gave me has like all the pins and uh, the plug that came with the case uh, comes with the case for the heart for the audio and the USB it has a pin that's missing in a specific spot so it's the wrong one so now I gotta wait I gotta order another adapter but at least I got them running Run, collector. I do everything myself guys so I just try to maximize everything I can do it myself, my two Optiplexes, my 9010 with the Xeon, I have a Xeon uh, E3 1240V2 in here with the 16 gigs of RAM, Hyper Thread, the Kingston, the GT1030 in there, that's the one that I use to stream, one, one TB hard drive now, and uh, two, 240, 240 GB um, SSD. And in this one, I got the GTX 670 with 16 gigs of RAM of the Concert. Both, both of them I got a Concert power supply. This one has a 650. The streamer has a 600. And a couple extra fans. That's about it, guys. I mean, simple stuff. This is my gaming, you know, simple gaming computer. Nobody, I posted it. Nobody wanted to buy it, so keep it for me. Transfer, I transfer my i7 in here. Oh, my, mine has a, a 40, uh, 4790 i7, 4790, 16 gigs, 2 TB hard drive, 240 SSD. 
All right, guys, this one actually came out really nice. I'm just pissed off about that switch. If that switch would have been nice, it would have been perfect. But you know what? Nothing's perfect, so. All right, guys, thanks for watching. A little bit of the inside of the capsule. Run, collector. Need you help with your Optiplex? Let me know. I can try to help you. I'll give you some hints how to work things around so you can make them work when you really don't, shouldn't be working. All right, guys.